Welcome back to Fan Nation. Lucha Libre has no intention of becoming a mainstream sport, at least in this country, in part because it's a spectacle that not only embraces, but thrives in the underground scene. I guess that's how Robert Rodriguez got the name for his upcoming wrestling show, Lucha Underground, which showcases the grit and grime of one of Mexico's signature form of entertainment for American audiences. Today, we're meeting some of Lucha's most famous new faces, along with a couple of pretty well-known wrestling legends as we dive into the world of Lucha Underground, right here on Fan Nation. My name is Conan. I'm part of El Rey Network's Lucha Libre Underground, a new program which basically consists of Lucha Libre, a lot of really cool action that you've never seen before in a wrestling ring, and great high-flying talent like my protege right here, Prince Puma. Fight! Fight like you've done your whole life, like you've done on the street. Conan, he's coming with this protege of his, and he believes that he's going to just, you know, swap everybody out, but it's not going to be the case in my opinion. Welcome to Lucha Underground, where we honor ancient traditions, courage, and my personal favorite, a good old-fashioned fight. My relationship with the luchadores is obviously a relationship between a boss and his servant. They basically have to do what I say. They don't have any other choice. They work for me! If someone watches the first episode of Lucha Underground and they had previous experiences, nightmares, watching the, the American wrestling or whatever you wanna call it, they're gonna be immediately hooked up because this is real. This is not like a show for kids. When I was a kid, Lucha Libre was big in Mexico and, and would come across from the border towns for sure, El Paso, uh, San Diego, uh, Laredo. But um, little by little, as I started getting five, six, eight years old, wrestling started transcending, and Lucha Libre started transcending into other markets. Really, I was the one that ushered in Lucha Libre into the United States. I was the one that went to WCW and brought in all the luchadors 20 years ago, and now you can see what's going on. Anytime you see high flying, like a head scissors or backflip or a moonsault, that's all Lucha Libre. And now it's, it's any style of wrestling you're in, you're gonna see Lucha Libre. You can hear it, you can feel it, you can smell it. In WCW, it was the first time I saw Rey Mysterio. And when I saw him, my mind was blown. How is that guy doing the moves that he's doing? The stories that are told in Lucha are different from American pro wrestling because of the moves. The moves are physically just three levels up from anything that you'll see on WWE. I really think that we're going to be surprised on the amount of people that are going to turn to this show from people who've never stepped foot in, into a wrestling arena or, or seen anything like that to people who love Robert Rodriguez style stuff. The way that this the show is being filmed, you literally feel like you're in a Robert Rodriguez movie. I think, you know, it has a strong Latin sensibility, but yet it's for everybody. You know, just like Robert Rodriguez, who's the head of El Rey Network, when you look at his movies, even though you see a lot of the central characters are Hispanic, it's for anybody. So I think that's the beauty of it. You know, we're living in the most uh, multiracial, multicultural uh, era in our history, and this is gonna reflect that. El Rey Network making history once again. And here we go, Lucha Underground. Yo, Preston, I gotta tell you that I actually grew up watching Lucha Libre. Yeah. Was that black? Huh? The mo I'm thinking about the movie. Oh, my what God. What you thinking about? Why Why is this guy here? <laughs> you don't know about Lucha Libre, so... Look, I don't know everything, yeah, but you, I'm open to learn more. You know nothing. 
So obviously, lucha libre is more like acrobatic, and it's more like jumping off the ropes and more. Because you know, mainstream. Have you watched wrestling? Mainstream wrestling. Mainstream wrestling is yeah. more like the stunner or whatever is popular today with the kids. But yeah, lucha libre is more like you have to be. I mean, you're flying in the air, like. You're putting your body. If you think skating is hard, you gotta try Lucha Libre, bro. It's, it's crazy. Well, I'm gonna let you just go ahead and try that. But you know what? I will, however, <laughs> I watch you. I'm gonna go, you know, take a couple of pictures, you know. So you wouldn't even get in the ring once? I don't know if I'm getting that ring. So not only are you dumb, but you're not brave. Hey, I ain't dumb, but I am brave. Okay, whatever, guys. The skateboarder is always brave. All right, listen, guys. I'm gonna teach Preston a little bit more about Lucha Libre during this break. Don't go anywhere. We got a ton of fan nations still up. You really don't know anything about Lucha Libre. I do now. Oh, my God. What? That's how you learn, ladies and gentlemen. This is Fan Nation. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Coming up next, we have some fun talking about La Lucha Libre Mexicana.